This is Jack Jackson. This is part three of our series of lectures on probability. In this lecture, we'll be talking about odds and probabilities. Odds are a different way of expressing the same concept that we get from probabilities. You get a different number, a different way of expressing it, but you're still expressing basically the same idea. But it's very different in terms of the number that you get and how you do this. So remember, probabilities of the ratio are the fraction of the size of the event over the size of the sample size. Odds for and against event are a little bit different way of representing the same idea. So the odds against A are expressed as a ratio of the size of the complement of A to the size of A. In other words, the number that's not A to the number that is A. And by the way, the colon there in a ratio is pronounced 2, T-O, and might even be written with the word T-O rather than a colon. The odds for event A are the size of A to the size of the complement of A. These are basically called reciprocal relationship ratios. And the one that's most commonly used is the odds against something. So usually if you see something, the odds of something, they're talking about the odds against something. Okay, let's see if we can put this into practice now that we have that definition. So here's an exercise for you. The experiment is we're drawing a random card from a deck, and the event A that we're concerned with is drawing a spade. So what we'd like you to do here is to compute these four things, the odds against A, the odds for A, the probability of A, and the probability of the complement of A. Now I'm going to say pause in just a minute and you're going to work this and then after you work it hit play and then come back to see how we did. So uh, please press pause now. Okay well we're back now and we see that the experiment was drawing a random card for the deck and we want to draw a spade. The odds against A are the size of not A to the size of A. There are 39 non-spades and 13 spades. We can reduce this to 3 to 1, just like we do reduce a fraction. There's a common factor, the greatest common one being 13 of these two, so we can divide both numbers by 13 to reduce this. So the ratio is 3 to 1. 3 non-spades for every 1 spade. The odds for A are just a reciprocal relationship, 13 to 39, or reduces to 1 to 3. So notice we can reduce uh, odds. Notice that when you see the odds, uh, say if the odds against A are 3 to 1, that doesn't necessarily mean they're actually just, just one simple event there, or one way of getting a spade. It could be multiplied by something, in this case, by 13. The probability of A, then, is the size of A over the size of the sample space. And notice the size of the sample space is just the size of A plus the size of its complement. So once we found the 13 and the 39, we can add those together to get the 52 total cards. Of course, we do there's 52. And so that's 13 over 52, which again reduces to 1 fourth by dividing by 13. Uh, similarly, the probability of the complement of A is the size of the complement of A over the total sample space size, which is 13 plus 39, or 52 for the denominator again, 39 to the numerator reduces to 3 fourths. Of course, the probability of A and the probability of its complement are always going to add up to 1, so we could have found the 3 fourths by doing 1 minus 1 fourth. A couple more exercises. In this one, we're told the odds of, of an event, that is the odds against the event, are 3 to 2. What's the probability of the event happening? Work this out now and then come back in just a second. Please press pause now. Okay, we're back. In this case, we know the odds, and we want to find the probability. Well, the odds, remember, are the uh, odds against event, are the size of A uh, complement to the size of A. That's supposed to be 3 to 2. Now, it doesn't mean there's actually 3 and 2 are the actual sizes. The actual sizes could be multiplied by some number. So the actual sizes could be 3n and 2n, but that would reduce to 3 to 2 for the ratio. So the probability of A is the size of A over the size of S. Notice the size of S is the sum of the two sizes here of A and A complement, which are 2N and 3N, respectively. Now again, all the N's will basically cancel out here. If you multiply top and bottom by, by 1 over N, and so you get 2 over 2 plus 3. So here's a shortcut. To find the probability, just add the 2 and the 3 here together, whatever these two numbers are in the ratio, and that's your denominator. And then the numerator will be the event you're looking at. If you're talking about the odds against the event, it's the second number that goes on the numerator here. 
Of course, the actual size of A is 2N, and the size of the sample space is 5N for whatever N might have been. But the Ns cancel out, so we can just ignore those. And so we get the probability of A is 2 fifths, which is 0.4 in decimals and 40% in percentages. So here we knew the odds, and we wanted to find the probability. Now let's look at an example that goes the other direction. This time we know the probability and we want to find the odds. We're told the probability of the event is one-fourth, or the odds against the event happening. Once again, work this one and then come back and check it. Press pause now. Okay, we're back again, and we see the probability of A is one-fourth. That's going to be the size of A over the size of the sample space. That's one in over, well, let's see, how can we find the size of the complement? Okay. If there are four n things all together, and one n is the size of A, there must be three n for the size of the complement. Okay, or one over one plus three. So to find the size of the complement, we can just subtract this four minus one to get the three. So we do three to one. Okay, or really three n to one n, but the n's cancel out. So shortcut. Do the 4 minus the 1 for the first number, and then just the numerator on the second one. That gives us a quick introduction to odds and probability.